We're going to San Pedro Sula, Honduras. This is a lot different than our first episode. We're in like the touristy part of Honduras. I will wear this. Here we are. The count comes out of there. Not the count, the Pope. The only time I've ever seen one of these is on Mask of Zorro. Donde es la uh, Iglesia de Ebenezer? This place is gigantico. Hola en la nombre Jesus. Oh. <laughs> Did we just get saved? Since I entered, I liked how they received me. All right, say, uh... <laughs> My alarm clock goes off and I wake up and it's Sunday morning in San Pedro Sula, Honduras. And you know what that means? We gotta go to church. Oh yeah, baby. What? You ready to go? Uh, I am, yeah, this is... So you like, you like went for it. Uh. Oh yeah, I committed to the role, that's what I did, yeah. Wow. Beat that, dude, it's a toucan or a parrot or something. We grew up going to church every week. Same church, every week, no discussion. Now we're hitting the road to find the wildest, most unique, and most interesting churches in the world. My name is John Christ. And I'm Shamam Raymond. And together, we're first-time visitors. So today we're going to Iglesia de Cristo. Ebenezer. Okay. Was Did I say that right? Necessary? Yeah, I don't know why my voice got what, a few pitches higher. Yeah. Iglesia de Cristo. Do you think Church learn. of God was mad when Church of Christ dropped? I mean, which one was first? <laughs> 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 They're, They're like, like, no! No, we, do we have Come that? on! Come on now. You know what these comments are going to be full of? Uh, Church of Christ people back in the States. We don't do it like that. Ours is different. You didn't get a good one. Every time we go to a denomination, the rest of that denomination is in the comments heavy. We leave the hotel and we quickly run into a roadblock. Uh-oh, we got a, what is it blocked off for? Oh, he's gotta go around it. Oh, no, I can't. San Pedro Sul doesn't want us to get to church. Uh, There's some kind of race or like marathon in the city, like three, four roads. We were trying to get to the other side and we couldn't. Before we know it, Joel's like, guys, just hold on. <sighs> Oh yeah. Joel finally just puts his truck into 4x4 and just goes over the median. All right. Persecuted for the Lord. Whoa. Mi amigo. Buenos dias. Yeah. Tu uh, cannot know mi inglés es no bueno. Yeah, man. Tu uh, donde es la uh, iglesia de Ebenezer? It's a una, it's una la grande iglesia. Uh, donde es la iglesia? Mucho grande uh, Ebenezer. This way? Diez minutos, cinco minutos. Right here. Hola amigo. Uh, gracias. Here we go. No Bud Light down here. Naranja. Hey, naranja is uh, orange. Hola, amiga. Hola. Uh, no. No, it's speak Spanish. English? No. Nada. 100% español. ¿Dónde es la iglesia? La iglesia. Grande. La Ebenezer. Ebenezer. Mm -hmm. Aquí. Aquí. Solo camina uno cuanto para y ahí la va a ver. Oh, it's a car. mucho mucho uh, grande, see? Si? Uh, the Iglesia Grande? Si, uh, right here, yeah. For me, para mi? Si, es suya. I mean, and you know, staple of this show, we got to pull up the reviews. And looking at them, honestly, it's probably something that we should have done in North America, but here we are. So these 
these reviews are translated from English to Spanish, from Spanish to English. Okay, they're written in Spanish. Yes. We don't know Spanish. We do not. I mean, you know, un poquito. Yeah, uno. No, uh, mi, mi español es um, todo. Okay. Comprende todo. Read them in Spanish. I don't know. It's out uh, translate. I'm, they're in English. I can't even translate from English back. Well, you know who knows Spanish? Google. <laughs> they know pretty good. All right, this one says, a pleasant place to be in contact with him. That's a capital H. A pleasant place. How many stars? This is uh, three stars. Man. Pleasant place a to be in contact A pleasant place to be in him. contact with him. Almighty sustains life and health and family success. All right. Amen. No I got that. punctuation anywhere. I mean, you can say the same for pizza. <laughs> All right, Five stars. That. Five stars. All right, next. As for its facilities, they are very large, cozy, and with architectural beauty. As for its members, they are anointed by God. Oh, and members are anointed? Yeah, second. Architectural the, beauty. The, he, had to, he had to flex on the building first. This is another one. All if right. you're looking for a house to congregate, come to the Church of Christ Ebenezer. God is waiting for you. All right. God yeah, is God. waiting for us today? God's waiting for us. I'll be there. We're I need to tell to this there. person, I need to find them and just go, you know he's everywhere, right? Yo, they got a Walmart here. Yeah, we're, what? We got everything. Hey, from Bentonville, Arkansas to San Pedro. Represent. Sula. Yeah. Okay, here's another review. Since I entered, I liked how they received me. All right. Say, uh... <laughs> and I'm not going to read that one again. Right. Since I entered, I liked how they received me. Bro, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you right now, if you went to a mega church in the States and wrote that, they'd knock on your door. <laughs> hey, they'd arrest you. Five stars. It was an amazing experience for me. Okay. I have never been to a church where literally everybody worshipped for two hours straight. No, dude, no. Is that real? Yeah. Oh, dude. All right, this is five stars. All right. Very well conditioned. It is comfortable. Does that mean error? I think error. It is comfortable to go with the family. Oh, the yeah. The children enjoy their area, and adults receive the word of God in peace. Oh, yeah. It has a cafeteria and ample parking. Yo, it's got a cafeteria. <laughs> This man said it's very it's well. Buffet. It's really? a buffet. Hey we're, hey, we're eating there. The church has got a buffet. All we're hearing about this church is like, it's big, it's huge, it's massive. You'll know it when you see it. And I'm thinking to myself, dude, I've been to I've been to a million churches. It can't be that big. I've never even been to the city, but the moment we like round a corner. I look at this dome building and I go, oh, that's our church right there. That is a monster. This place is gigantico. Iglesia de Cristo Ebenezer. Oh yeah. Security gate, oh yeah. There's a helicopter up there. The pastor's on his way. Come on, that's unnecessary. Hola en la nombre Jesus. No. <laughs> What's that right? You said to say hello in the name of Jesus? Well, dude, I said like greet the all right. Oh. That's not okay. <laughs> this is a campus. I mean, there's five gigantic buildings. First, there's like a, what looks like a, a gymnasium or two. Parking, we got a parking guy. Just like at the other churches, a basketball. We really, we really out here. Play place? Oh, this is it, bro. I mean, yeah, this, this is place. bigger than like most malls. <laughs> and I didn't know where the auditorium was because there's the big dome-shaped building, but then there was like, three or four different other buildings that were that were equal in size. Literally, we pulled on campus, there's security, there's gates, there's this whole parking team. If a church has a parking team, you're in. You, you're one of the big ones. If yeah. a church has a parking team, <laughs> if this guy's telling us exactly how to back in. Whoa. Oh yeah. They don't know, I'm a guest, baby. There's a lot of soy de Cristo. A lot of soy de Cristo. Soy de Cristo. Boom. Soy de Cristo. Boom. Soy de Cristo. I mean, Joel had told us from the beginning, he's like, if you go anywhere without me, do not get hit by a car. Watch for cars. That's kind of the main thing. The cars don't really look out for pedestrians like they do in the States. And literally, we took three steps out of the car, almost got hit. Yeah, like, yo, we're in the church campus, dude. You can't hit God's people. We're walking up there and I'm trying to make small talk with people to just try to get a vibe of what this place is about. We're talking to one parking guy and he goes, I'm not gonna do the accent, but he goes, do you need a translator? Do you need a tra, and I, we were like, uh. No, he's, he's, he's a, my son, he's, he's translator. Adelante, adelante. 
Oh, okay, okay. No, 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 no. Calls his son over. His son's name is Arturo. Arturo walks with us inside. He's like, yeah, I'll be translating for you guys today. Now we're a group. We get about 10 steps into the foyer and a lady working at the church like comes up to us and she's like, I've got a word of the day for you. There was like a repeat after me and then I was like, I looked at Sean, I was like, did we just get saved? Like, are we, are we members of this church now? I could hear like so much excitement and noise inside and we're trying to figure out uh between us and shama and the translator and david where we're we gonna sit we were just like we want to sit in the back and he was like no you can't sit in the back and he's like what church are you from in the states and we were like i told him where i went to church and he's like we need to take your information down because the pastor is gonna introduce it during the sermon i felt like we didn't have a plan going in we just went in we're gonna kind of nonchalantly observe the service and it was clear from the beginning they were like no this isn't a service you observe you participate so our translator walks us into the sanctuary and the only way i can describe it is like that scene in gladiator where everybody's like chanting in the coliseum there's eight thousand people it's comparable to a sporting event really because you, you feel like you're walking out the tunnel into the stadium oh you're gonna like this foot flags are like waving them in the air and we're like just walking people are dancing and clapping and yelling I need a flag bro I need a flag flags dancing choreography the stage is like stacked there's like a hundred people singing and there's trumpets it was an assault on the senses there was a family of like six with shofars just in the audience, a couple of rows ahead of us that were just like popping off. There was security everywhere, staff of the church. There was a dance squad. There was a horn section. It was everything you could imagine times 10. The stage alone had a hundred plus people on there. Our translator said, he said, do you mind if I go dance? I go, no, go ahead. Oh, he's gonna go he's dance. Gone. He's out, he's like, I'm out. They sang a lot of songs. They were really good. The only song we recognized was How Great Thou Art. How Great Thou Art. I was like, yeah, I know this song. never heard a rendition of How Great Thou Art with trumpets, but that's how they do it in San Pedro Sula. In the States, you always hear about, I mean, I've heard the term praise and worship, praise and worship for a long time, but it's always the same thing. It's just the music. It seemed like there was an actual distinction down here from the praise and the worship. So praise was more energetic, dancing, jumping around, choreography, people going nuts. And then it switched to worship time. And it was, it was, a, it was a distinct switch to the serious, solemn worship songs all the women put on head coverings, which is something I had never witnessed. Oh, it's an hour and a half and we're in worship. This place is full. Like, this place is packed. I nudge Shama about halfway through worship and I go, I wonder how they're going to do the offering because this place is massive. And all of a sudden, we see kind of like, there's like these, the, like these fishing nets, but they're cloth and they're orange and they're on these poles and we just see security and staff from everywhere just pop up with these and they're passing around it's like an offering uh sack i guess they just kept on coming like there were so many people we're like church kind of took up a lot of cash today i mean they're filling them up with cash <laughs> Okay, 
Qué lindo. Every time you go to a big mega church like that, the, the pastor is always very charismatic. Yo que soy especialista en sudar, hermano, terminaba de predicar y cierre sus ojos. Cierre sus ojos. Por favor, cierre sus ojos. The preaching was incredible. He was polished, eloquent, had a lot of Bible verses. I couldn't understand what he was saying, but it sounded solid. He was just off the dome, telling funny stories. Everyone was connecting to it. Y otros más duritos de juzgar dirán, y ese chunga chunga. Porque tum -bet, tum -bet, tum -bet, ¿verdad? He was crushing. Arturo, our translator, was laughing. And I'd be like, dude, don't laugh. You got to translate for us. Like, we want to laugh, too. El soltero, uy, qué control tienen. The church was fasting today, and the pastor said something along the lines of like, you might, you might be fasting, and you're so hungry that you see the word Psalms, and you think of salmon, salmon. It, it works in Spanish. But I was like, oh, a pun. Como están ahí, yo no sé qué está pensando en el salmo más grande, en el salmo 119, porque es un salmón, ¿verdad? Ya está pensando usted en un su salmón. En el salmo. We look up on the screen and there's like point one, point two, point three, and we're kind of like, me and Shama are kind of looking at each other, trying to judge. I mean, how far are we going to go? Because it looked like on the graphics we're going to go to point number nine, and I'm looking at my watch. I go, we're going to be in here for forever en el nombre de Cristo Señor deleite grabado en nuestro corazón amén y amén the sermon kind of wrapped up but there was no formal ending they're kind of moving on to I don't know what it was a Q&A portion of the service or something like that and Arturo kind of looked at us and he was like I, this is kind of like if you're a visitor this is kind of like where you leave and I nudge Shama I was like dude I am starving <laughs> I mean, a crazy experience, top to bottom. I mean, flying to Honduras to go to a church service, learning about the faith of the people in Honduras and how they practice. I mean, danced and did choreography with 8,000 Hondurans, listened to a message and met some of the locals. And I can't think of a better way to wrap up this season. When all the bullhorns and the dancing and the choreography and the happiness and the joy that was in that place, I legitimately looked at Shama. I go, dude, for all the descriptions I've heard about heaven, I think it's going to be more like this. If we ever come back to San Pedro Sula, we're definitely going to go back to that church again. I'm going to take time to learn the dance moves, and I'm not going to let John wear that stupid parrot Honduras shirt. <laughs> that he bought at the market. We were like a little bit in like a fish out of water type situation. And I looked in front of us and there was a little girl on her mom's cell phone watching Coco Melon. And I was like, oh, okay. This is just like my church back home. Mm -hmm.